whether you like it or don't like it, sit down and look at it because it's the best going today. Woo! You were tuned in to the best. And that's no other than G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. All social media is in the description box. And please hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat. June 23rd, 2018 at the 0-2. Daniel Dubois is going up against Tom Little. Daniel Dubois is highly touted heavyweight. And a lot of his hype has to do with an alleged sparring between him and Anthony Joshua. And himself, Him, he, he actually stated that he did a very good job. It was a rumor that he knocked down Anthony Joshua. But in my Allen Iverson voice, we're, we're talking about practice. Practice, not, not a game. Not a game, but, but practice. So he might have did good against Anthony Joshua. And I'm not saying he wouldn't do good against Anthony Joshua in a real fight. But you don't make no real money in sparring. But a lot of guys get their street fame off of these uh, sparring wars. But that's part of the mystique of Daniel Dubois. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be developed slowly moving forward. But... They just had a press conference for this card, and anybody that knows G5 Jeff TV knows I love a good press conference. Love a good press conference. And Daniel Dubois and Tom Little was going back and forth, talking trash, talking shit. I don't care if it's from a guy that can't back it up. As long as you talking shit, hyping up the fight, promoting the fight like you should as a fighter because a lot of these promoters are not your traditional promoters. They're more like businessmen, but they call themselves promoters at the end of the day. But these two was going back and forth, trash talking, and you could tell Dubois is not used to trash talking. But Tom Little, <laughs> Tom Little, he's definitely used to trash talking. I, I think the one quote that he said was, he told Dubois that he's been living in his head for the last six weeks rent free. <laughs> like that's that's a that's a that's a Floyd Mayweather comment. That was a good that was a good catchphrase from Tom Little. And I don't know how much of a fight Tom Little's gonna put up. I don't know if he's gonna come in there to fight. I don't know if he's gonna come in there to win because they're saying Daniel Dubois's power is is right. It's definitely right. But the thing about a prospect like Daniel Dubois, you really don't know what you have until he gets caught with a shot. And at the heavyweight division, that is the ultimate question. You could be a guy that's highly touted, highly skilled, can box. But at the end of the day in the heavyweight division, it's really can you take a shot? Point blank period. Can you take a shot? And we don't know if Daniel Dubois can take a shot. So we're going to see if Tom Little can actually put something on Daniel Dubois for us to get an answer to that question of can Daniel Dubois take a solid punch from a solid heavyweight. You got, And, and it's easy to hype up a heavyweight, an up-and-coming heavyweight, just off of the skills. I always say this. David Price at one point was considered that, that next guy. But we found out that he can't take a shot. He can't consistently take a shot. And a lot of times that's the difference with prospects. That's the difference. So watching Daniel Dubois is going to be no different than watching any other heavyweight prospect on the come up. Do they have enough power to get their guys up out of there? And how good is the chin? How good is the chin? How good is the heart? Do you have a heart to get up from a shot? Do you have a heart to, and the smarts to actually recover from a shot that you're buzzed from? We've seen prospects before in the heavyweight division, and we all have the same questions about the prospects. So Daniel Dubois is no different. But if Tom Little comes in and fights like he's talking, this going to be a damn good fight. 
a damn good fight and i think they've sparred before as well so they're familiar with each other so for both of these guys to be talking the shit that they was talking they both seem pretty confident but i'm looking forward to this fight i'm looking forward to this card y'all let me know what y'all think of daniel dubois and tom little and what y'all thought of the press conference i thoroughly enjoyed it g5 jeff tv hit the subscribe button hit the like button please share this video support your boy support good content at all times i appreciate y'all peace